Hello everyone and welcome to the Intake channel. Today we're going to take a look at the first hydrogen boat and what it has brought to the transportation community. Today there are a multitude of shipping facilities and the fundamentally changing our idea of what shipping is. But at a particular interest, what are the alternatives for ships using fuel, for example liquid hydrogen? One of these technological marvels is the Energy Observer, a boat that can fundamentally change people's perceptions. The Energy Observer is the world's first, and so far only, fully autonomous hydrogen-powered ship. Initially, it was a racing catamaran, but it was literally modified to demonstrate the capabilities of green technologies. This is to prove the installation of systems is possible of any type of floating vehicle. This yacht is self-sufficient in energy thanks to the production of hydrogen from seawater by electrolysis. Electrolysis is the process that consists of splitting water molecules into the constant parts, hydrogen and oxygen, using a current. The resulting current is used to store the liquid hydrogen on the ship in aluminum and carbon fiber tanks. As you can see, this method is fuel production is absolutely harmless to the environment. In addition to the hydrogen generator, this is nearly 30 meter long boat, has two wind generators of 420 square meters of solar panels are sold as well as regenerative drive. Thus, the ship receives energy from several alternative sources at any time of the day or night, and this no matter where it is in the world. In order to set an example of the humanity-friendly attitude towards the environment, in July 2017, the ship left for a round trip around the world. Thus, the goal is to make a round-the-world trip in energy autonomy without greenhouse gas emissions nor fine particles with all the reduced noises. The crew, led by skipper Victorian Arusard and the researcher and documenter filmmaker Jerome Defoe's, visited 50 countries. In particular, they made 11 stopovers to get to know these working and alternative solutions for cleaner energy production with minimal impact on our planet. Maritime transport has the particularity of being both a significant impact on the environment and the climate while representing a major importance for the world economy. 80% of the goods in terms of volume are transported on our seas. Despite its considerable impact on the planet, maritime transport is rarely mentioned in climate debates. This is largely due to the major importance for the economy, but also its sobriety per ton transported compared to the road or air transportation. The objectives of the International Maritime Organization are to reduce both the carbon intensity of the ships by 40% by 2030 and the total annual GHG emissions of the maritime transport by 50% by 2050. Several short-term strategies and solutions will allow to reduce emissions while keeping existing ships, improving logistics and fleet management, optimizing ship route and modifying hull structure, reducing cruising speed, etc. After this first experience of Energy Observer, the team of this adventure wished to develop this project towards more efficient model facing the current problems. They have therefore chosen to create a second project with the adaptation of a cargo ship for green energy. Still focusing on liquid hydrogen, which does not produce any CO2 emissions by the way, there is still a need to combine clean energy resources for the future multi-purpose cargo ship. One kilogram of liquid hydrogen is equivalent in energy of three kilograms of oil. Among the obstacles to overcome the maritime sector, volume is crucial, and for good reason. Hydrogen requires 4.3 times greater than maritime diesel for its storage. It will therefore be necessary to compensate for this difference by optimizing all consumption parameters, weight, hydrodynamics, propulsion efficiency, and thus also using renewable energy mix. This multi-purpose cargo ship of the future will have four propulsion wings with a total surface area of 1,450 square meters. This should reduce energy consumption by 15 to 30 percent depending on the angle and the strength of the wind, consulting nearly 37 percent of the world's fleet Often the old and polluting design, the multi-purpose cargo ship has been identified by energy observers and its partner as a priority category to decarbonize the maritime sector. Scheduled for 2025, the zero emission cargo ship will be powered by liquid hydrogen. It'll have a loading capacity of 5,000 tons or a total of 240 containers. Nevertheless, even if the entire planet's population were to significantly reduce its consumption, maritime transport would still be a necessity to transport ores, cereals, materials, and fuels green if possible. This is why technological innovation must accompany ecological awareness to ensure a transition to a clear and more respectful future of the planet. So why have engineers chosen hydrogen? There are several reasons. One of the most obvious is that they're literally everywhere. Hydrogen is the most common element in the universe. The main difficulty is that pure hydrogen is extremely rare to find and is often a part of the various chemical compounds. One of these compounds occupies 71% of the surface of our planet. 
it is water. Another reason is that besides water, fuel in the form of hydrogen can be made of many resources, including wind powder, natural gas, the sun, and even garbage. But extracting its remains is an expensive and inefficient process, hence the idea of switching to different vehicles. Hydrogen as a fuel is attracting big business and investment. Using hydrogen leaves no carbon residue. Batteries produced about half a bucket of water caused by vapor emissions, no more greenhouse gases, no more toxic emissions compared to traditional fuel. But hydrogen is also for other types of vehicles like cars. Thus, the fleet of hydrogen cars is increasing every year. Nevertheless, the cost of developing and launching the production of hydrogen machine requires hundreds of millions of dollars. This is why not only the largest companies can afford hydrogen systems, Toyota, Honda, and Mercedes-Benz. However, hydrogen transport is not limited to cars. In Germany, hydrogen-powered trains designed and built by the French company Alstom were launched on one of the first lines for the first time in the world. A hydrogen train with fully filled tanks on the roof can travel about 1,000 kilometers at speeds of up to 140 kilometers per hour. The electricity production by the fuel cells is not used directly. It is used to charge the lithium-ion batteries. These batteries are turned responsible for powering on the board systems and electric motors. Engineers are also aiming to successfully fly an aircraft on this fuel. In October 2016, the first flight test for a four-seated aircraft equipped with hydrogen fuel cells took place. This project is severe at the basis for the development of a large hydrogen passenger plane designed to carry up to 19 people. In 2019, Russia also plans to conduct the first flight test for a two-seat hydrogen flight aircraft based in the Sigma. This two-seat aircraft can reach speeds of 200 kilometers per hour. Its flight range is about 650 kilometers. Despite all the difficulties associated with this use of hydrogen transportation, there are prospects for cars, trains, and airplanes using this type of fuel. Important advancements are planned to address the problem of maritime cargo and thus achieving environmental objectives. This is thanks to the Energy Observer 2.0 project, which could see the light of day in 2025. The first hydrogen power ship that saw the light of day in 2017 has enabled considerable development on the subject. Currently, companies rely mainly on existing technologies for this production and use. However, almost every day, an invention appears in this field. Significant advances and innovations are expected to gradually revolutionize this technology. If you enjoyed our topic of the day, feel free to like this video. To enjoy other videos of the same kind, subscribe to the channel, and above all else, leave us suggestions for our next topics. Activate that notification bell to be among the first to see our next videos, and we hope to see you soon on ATEC.